Beware, you're in for a scare. From the pages of R.L. Stein's best-selling books comes a brand new series of Goosebumps videos. Videos that will creep you out, freak you out, or simply make you laugh your head off. Hello, Goosebumps fans. After watching it, there's some interesting puzzlers that actually comes to mind and even more cleanup to be like, these two books are connected. So let's go with the interesting part of what Barberine actually believes. He believes that in the snowman is a demon. Demon. Which means everything I'm trying to build up has just been smacked to the floor. Why the f It's like, yes. So basically, it comes to the idea of they are covering something up. They aren't telling us something that happened. Because it's like, oh, they played with magic and now they made an evil snowman. It's like, okay. So here's my scenario for this part of where he said is a demon. So what they did is they accidentally summoned the demon. Oh no. What they're going to do. Let's try to depower it. They do. They turn into a freaking snowman. And they were hoping that the snowman freaking air melts. Lo and behold, it did not melt. So instead of actually allowing it to conquer the freaking world and crap, they decide to actually keep it in a cave and keep it at bay. And, well, I think that's it? Question mark? Even though it's kind of like, uh, why won't you just let it go, dude? It's like, yeah, why won't you let it go? But, of course, considering, I don't know. This is where we get to the messed up crap of where it's like, okay, hold on. So does that mean the spell actually kept him being a snowman? So all you freaking had to do was just push him out into the desert or something and he melts in the end. You win. No more curse. So that means that technically what they could have done was teleport him somewhere, a hot climate, and he's gone. The end. I'm at a loss if that's how the things go. I'm at a loss of that how his freaking damn goes. Other hand, it's like, well, if it was an imprisonment, then I mean, that he should have been able to punch out of the snowman form and then da. But I'm pretty sure they transport. It actually transformed him into a snowman to try to defeat him, and they couldn't defeat him after that. So they tried to actually pick out something they could do, and it failed. Or they tried to blast the freaking demon, and well, it turned to a snowman. And they tried to buy them again, and then now it's no effective. So they just came up with this concept idea. My thoughts, again, if we're going to rehash, is the fact of a freaking spaceship crashed. They saw what came out of it. Oh, what the fuck? So they had to freaking defend the world like the Secret Adventures. <laughs> So they actually went against it and knew what they were doing and turned into a freaking snowman. So basically, instead of the idea of, oh my gosh, they're going to keep him here forever, keep him in prison, it's more like if the freaking lizard man slash snowman, aka a creep commander, decide to continue walking, he will melt. He will die because, well, he'll either melt to death or be... This is intense cold we're talking about. So he has no choice but to find a place that actually can be warmer than what it is. Because right now it's cold. It's cold. It's snow and everything. Pretty sure it could even go lower than that. So he needs to find a place to hide. A place to stay safe. The ice cave sounds like the best idea. So instead of the whole thing of, oh, we're going to keep him at bay and I'm going to watch over him. It's more of the fact of, you have no choice, man. You could do whatever to want. You ever you freaking want. He can't do anything. Well, besides his freaking um, spaceship, but I'm pretty sure he destroyed that. <laughs> it's like, I'm pretty sure they definitely had to destroy a spaceship at least. And that's why there's no pieces found or what's even worse. It's kind of like Resident, um, Resident Alien, where it's like it went into the freaking snow. And of course, that's the reason why they don't know about it. So they're like, oh, it's a monster. They don't know exactly it's a monster from out of space. They just know it's a freaking monster and you should defeat it. And that's what they kind of did. Now, the part I missed was the fact I thought he actually ran away and now he can do part two of <laughs> Creep, Calling All Creeps. But the sad part is like, 
No, he actually turned back to a freaking snowman or encapsulated in freaking ice. So I guess Ricky is safe. Damn, I wanted a sequel. <laughs> but of course, note, Arl Stein said himself, he sucks when it comes to continuity. He sucks when piecing things together. And you can actually notice that in Goosebumps Horrorland more than anything. And of course, yes, you can also notice it from all the sequel books. And Slappy's an exception, but Monster Blood is one. I Technically, you can even say Deep Trouble is another. So, it's just interesting that I'm pretty sure this is the case, and I'm pretty sure they're hiding something more. That's what I believe. They're hiding something more. Because it's not just, oh, they dabbled with magic and then they summoned a freaking snowman, evil snowman, which turns out to be a demon. That seems pretty stupid. I'm sorry, but that seems pretty damn stupid. So it's most likely the freaking part of where they did battle with some monster or some sort. Be it an alien um, creep, which I believe that's what it is, or a demon of some sort, which is like, yeah, I get it. Magic, sorcery, demons, I get it, but there's no way how... Um, you say it's a demon, but Squid Jib said it's a red version of the creep. It kind of reminded the creep from what the description said. So I have to lean towards them on this one. Anyways, what do you guys think about that? I was scary day. I was scary night.